It's all about the pandemics, baby. guys Jeff the maintenance man what is going on why do I have my computer out here well the first thing I gotta do is clean it number one number two believe it or not as sexy as this is looking with the graphics card mounted this way most graphic cards go up and down this one's mounted this way as sexy as all that beautifulness is inside of it with the water cooler and you know green stuff and all that uh, the components actually on this motherboard and and are in and around this motherboard like the RAM which is here the CPU which is under that water cooler the graphics card is fairly updated it is a uh, nitro um, which can run almost every game this computer has been great but we do have a problem the latest games coming out I cannot play them and this is kind of ticking me off a little bit so let me show you all what I got just a second so we're updating it boom the Ryzen 7 3.6 gigahertz processor that's the $300 computer chip right there it's about 300 bucks Got a little sticker. Alright. So, that's the brains of the operation. Then, to help the brains along, we got some RAM. This is the, uh, I've already opened some of the stuff, but it's the Pro Dark. I don't know how much nerdy, nerdiness y'all want to get, but it's only 16 gigs. Yep, two 8 gigabytes DDR4 3200. So, yeah. But it was recommended. Nah, no big deal. You can always update your RAM. Uh, when you update a CPU, though, however, uh, the sockets keep changing. So you have to... And here's the beast. You have to upgrade the motherboard, CPU, and RAM. So this is my new motherboard that's going to be going in. Um, not wearing an ESD, but right on you. And it's an Asus Crosshair 6 Hero. Pretty sexy. Pretty dang sexy. Yes, it is. Um, it's got all sorts of ports on it that you can plug in the stuff. And my nerdiness is coming out here, but I'm going to explain it all. So it's got three PCI 1s. This would be three PCIe's. Uh, just freaking pretty well built haven't really gone over it just got it just now uh, USB 3.1 port for front side bus this is for your uh, USB 3.0's for your front side bus this is what's on the back end of it I didn't need the graphics card I usually never buy a uh, graphics card thing um, if I'm going to be using the graphics card on here because there's no point in having two graphics cards it's just going to tax your info or whatever but um, also inside there there's a tiny little slot in there I don't know if y'all can see that or not but I believe that's for a little Wi-Fi card Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card so let me put this back in the box so it doesn't get dropped and damaged so the first thing I gotta do I'm gonna take this off start taking it apart and cleaning it put my parts in that drawer right there that's empty so panel comes off easy enough now I gotta excuse the mess my, my room's a mess so then uh, I got a couple screws under here and then I gotta take out I hope you guys can see kind of kind of what I'm doing here Ugh. this thing needs a if we can zoom out a little bit more, that'd be great. We kind of got y'all on a tripod using a Sony 
whatever the fuck this thing is. RX100. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, this should just pop right out of there. We'll disconnect the power. There's a power cord that's plugged into the back of that. No big deal there. Make sure we're free to go. Am I being detained or am I free to go? There's a little lever right here. You pull down on it. And just rock that out like that. And that's the graphics card. The nitro. Sapphire nitro. It's been a good baby. And it's still going to be a good baby. I'm surprised how clean it is still. No dust on it whatsoever. It's crazy. But I got some pressurized can air in the, in the living room there. So... Alright, so I didn't need a graphics card, I didn't need um, the case, obviously, and I didn't need the hard drives. So, this should be pretty straightforward. Keep our fingers crossed. Alright, so in this one I have a USB 3.0 card because that's how all my... my uh, system actually is it doesn't even have USB 3.0 on it it's a turbo turbo 3 so I got a USB 3.0 see how dusty that is <laughs> dusty so this strip right here I'm always wary about there we go. that's how it's mounted the graphics card mounted on this big ribbon cable. I don't like bending it like that, but it's gonna have to go under something. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm gonna have to mount it, ooh, vertically, so. Alright, so what I usually do is I just go ahead and start unplugging all the wires. Now, I am going to lose um, most of my data that is on, uh, is on my PC, on the C drive itself, but I backed it up, and, uh, so, just start on hooking your cables. These cables can only go in one way. You can't really mess it up. Everybody, you build your own PCs? Oh, my God. It's not that hard, actually. <laughs> It's a great way to finance a PC, too. If you don't have the money to buy a top-of-the-line PC, you can just buy, like, top-of-the-line motherboard one week or a month and put that in your closet and do the next one. Next one. If I remember right, I had to remove this fan to get to get to the screws, but... Uh, no, maybe not. I know there's a lot of... A lot of little plugs and stuff for like the water cooler and stuff. There, there's one right there. That's for the front light. Maybe I can, maybe I won't have to remove anything. I don't know, guys. But we'll see. Take this water cooler off. I'm going to be kind of upset if, uh, there's no thermal paste. Is that, yeah, I don't think I have thermal paste. Doggone it. Son of a bitch. Well. There's a water cooler. More little plugs. And the water cooler. Oh yeah, we'll just set that aside. Alright. Set all these wires out. How did this go? Almost uh oh well. Let me get get around that. <sighs> Time to take out the motherboard. This has been a really good computer, man. I still might use it to uh maybe run my Christmas light show or something, but Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Got interrupted. It. Oh well, that's nice. Okay, cool. 
Where's the other screw? Oh, there. There you are, you rascal. You're hiding back there in the back. Yeah. Yeah, I've had this. Well, I've had this computer for a while, guys. Four, five years, maybe. God damn it. Why can't I have a magnetic? Alright, let's see. Alright, we are free to go. So, yeah, we're replacing it with this old piece of crap. I mean, it, it runs GTA, it runs Battlefield, uh, all sorts of stuff. But I, I want y'all to see this. And this was something that uh, I just now saw. Whatever this was, the firewire, which was hooked to this port before, I had an audio rack that was hooked to that firewire port. It blew up, and the firewire caught fire. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that, but that fuse is totally popped off right next to that capacitor right there. It is just gone. So, I never had firewire on this thing, so... Another thing I'm going to have to take off of this is these uh, mounting brackets and put them on the new one. So when I mount, I can mount the water cooler back to it. But other than that, if y'all don't know how RAM works, I mean it just snaps right in. You can only plug it in one way and that's how RAM works. So this was a HyperX DDR3. We're going to the DDR4 now. So pretty cool. I'll put that over here. All right. The next part, I'm I'm not gonna spare y'all. I'm gonna be just taking some compressed air and blowing out the um, insides, just getting some of the dust bunnies that that float around in there. And uh, I got these three fans right here. These are fans. That's for the uh, radiator. Let's see if I can get you over there. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you got. I see inside of it without the mobo in it and my hard drives actually are my power supply is under here and my hard drives are mounted to the side of this uh, case here it doesn't have CD-ROMs or anything like that in it the reason being is because uh, uh, CD-ROMs are being phased out anyway. Uh, excuse my mess there. Um, so, yeah. So I'm not going to bore, bore y'all with the cleaning process. It's, I'm just going to be spraying, spraying air, and then I'm going to have to uh, clean up the dust bunnies and all that. So, we'll be back in just a second. All right. Well, we are... This is the new MOBO, and that's the old one. And I need to make sure that these water block things will mount to this. And it looks like they're exactly the same. Like, they're going to work just fine. So, I'm going to take these off. We'll put all our water park coolers here. And guys, I'm going to mess up here and... I'm going to let you go ahead and let you know I don't even have any thermal paste in it. Usually when you buy, you know, a $400 processor, you know, it usually comes with like at least like a small dab of that crap, but there's not any, all I need is a drop. But I don't have any thermal paste. So what I'm going to do, well, it's a water cooler. Um... So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'm going to put it on for now. I don't think it's going to hurt anything or anything like that for now. And then when I do get it, I'll just take this. This comes off fairly easy. And I'll put a little dab on it, put it back on. It's no, no big deal. No big deal there. So, all right, so I have these blocks. And then these unscrew. Just hold it from the bottom there. Let's give them a screw there. Screw there. Screw there. 
I don't even need to really take those out. Take this one out. Take this one out. Yeah, and there's a. Uh oh, I might not be able to even see what I'm doing. There we go. There's a piece of plastic right here with those screws in it. So that's 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 a custom mod. The mo motherboards usually don't come with that. So, and that should be it for that motherboard. That's all I needed off of it. Nothing else on that motherboard is going to be compatible whatsoever. All right, so let's measure this and see. Put this one in this hole, this one on this hole. Oh, is it too wide? Let's give it a shot. I mean, heck, only live once. Actually, the holes, there's two different mounting options on these holes. In the worst case scenario is I'm be without a computer for a while. Boo-hoo, right? And so there's two different mounting holes, so we might have the best of both worlds here. I don't know who, whose little cat over there is whining. Oh, what are you whining? Where are you at? Oh man, there's a dang, there's a dang bug in here, and he's. So if you lift that up again, there's a like a piece of plastic or metal actually on that one. All right, so if I put all these in here, hopefully. We'll just set this one down and line them up. Screw them down. Oh, that could not be. I mean, that can't. That's that that you know. Yes, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, that makes me moist. Yes, I am so glad that works. Yes, these go on first. Buddy, meowing at it's not going to make it jump in your mouth. Okay. There we go. Just hand tighten it. No need to torque it down or anything. Thank you, AMD, for making this a breeze so far. I better knock on wood. So. Now this needs to go this way. So that's facing that way. And these nuts go on the top. Just hand tighten. No need to go crazy with it. And this one goes this side let's go down let's go down there we go beautiful got a little bit of flex to them just like they're supposed to we're good to go alright this is what I'm talking about guys like the thermal paste is, if you don't know what that is, I'll just go ahead and let you know. It's a, uh, like a, almost like caulking. It's like the consistency of caulk. And it goes on top of your CPU. Hold on. Where? Where is everything? Oh, there it is. Hold on, 
lost my box there for a second. I searched the box. I searched the CPU box. I mean, this big box. Then this little. I mean, you can't put a drop of you know stuff in there. But here's the brains of the operation. Thousands of tiny little pins. This is where you could screw up. Like really, when when you open this thing, treat it like a piece of gold. Cause it's 400 bucks right here, guys. Don't want to mess with it. These do go in a certain way. There's an arrow here, and there's also patterns of like three, and then, but there is an arrow. So this CPU, there's a small little arrow on the motherboard. So this CPU will go in like this, and I'll show you how to do that. Just take this, just pull that up real nice and gentle. You know? Set the CPU down. Just put light pressure on it, and it'll drop in. That's, don't do anything more than that. Then just take that bar, put it down until it clicks now. Your brain's in your computer. Or motherboard, at least. <laughs> Y'all still with me? All right, cool. Um, looks like I'm going to be running out of battery here soon, probably too. So, probably need to do a take, take two, part two kind of deal here. But, we'll see how long we can go. Alright, so let me put back the motherboard for a second. My, keep everything in this box here. Just in case something goes south. Let's keep all your parts. Go. Right over there. Alright. Back up with this heavy bug. Bugger. There we go. Uh, if y'all haven't seen this case from, like, I, I didn't even show y'all from the front. Y'all been looking at it from the inside, but I'm going to put the water cooler down for a second. So I can show y'all. There you go. Still need to do a wipe down on the front and blow out, but my cans froze up. So, this is this is a crucial step right here. Getting these standoffs to line up with your holes. If you forget one and it's on your motherboard and it's underneath there and it's making contact with with the uh, a place on the back of the motherboard like these metal pieces you know you just blow up your motherboard so uh, I would say you don't want to do that so see what I got here blah 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 so this thing this this motherboard lights up and does all sorts of crazy stuff it's pretty cool do 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 Little LEDs everywhere on it. Alright. So it looks like it's almost going to be the same setup. Holy crap. This might be dropping. One, two, three. So I'm looking at the inside here. There's standoffs. And you can move them in different configurations and stuff. So there's one. Uh oh, that might be. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's one right here that I'm not working. Not going to work. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, so the last row is gonna This one, this one needs to go down and then it'll it'll be the right direction. That's where these come into place. Use them like needle nose just to loosen these. Unscrew them. There we go. 
put them in the holes where they're going to go. Somehow or another, there we go. Remember I bought this. I bought this case, it came with a tool. Who knows where the tool is anymore. say battery time so all I'm doing is moving these uh, these standoffs I'm moving these standoffs down so we'll be back again okay so the next thing that you probably want to do is I don't know if y'all can see it but down here that little plate just push it in and it should pop right out a little plate there I gotta change that. Put that over with the old mother bowl. And get the new mother bowl. I'm gonna set this over here for a second, because, well, maybe not. Just right there. And the new plate. Pop it in, pop it in. Right. Ooh, it's all nice and spongy too. Oh, it's so spongy. Like it. Yep. And you're just gonna pop that. Yes, that was Wi-Fi for the uh, the motherboard. I can get that Wi-Fi card for it. But my modem's right beside my computer, so I'm wired. So wired, bro. And slightly moist. There we go. And it matches my case. The other one was like all silver and shit. But alright, I gotta put this down again because I forgot to do something. And it requires me to have a flat surface to push down on, so install the ramp. It's easier to do this when it's out of the case and everything. Um, the case gets in the way or whatever. So, just pop out your RAM here. Well, if you can. Holy crap. There we go. This, like I said, this only goes in one way. You can see DIM 1, 2, 3, 4. Just put it in A for now. Just take these. Oh, well, what do you know? I've never installed DDR4 RAM before, guys. This is interesting. Because usually, both of these will go down. But you can only put them in one way. I mean, just push straight down. And this will clip up. This These little... Do the answer. There's a click, click, clock. It's how easy it is. So when you go, uh, when you go to like, uh, you know, uh, Geek Squad or something like that, and they charge you a hundred dollars, this is what they're charging you to do. Just do that. That that took all of what, like two seconds. But you do have to know what kind of RAM you're, is compatible with your motherboard. I'll say. I'll listen there. Alright, so that's, 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 that's that part. All right. uh, I knew this was going to be a long video. I mean, I can't do this crap in 10 minutes, but hopefully in edit I can. Alrighty, back. Back to life. Oh shit, y'all were really zoomed in. Weren't y'all? All right, that ought to do it. We're just gonna bump y'all over. All right. All right, gotta go. Here we go. 
I am thinking about getting rid of this actually. This is just stupid. I, I don't, I think I needed it. I had to use it because I didn't have room in here. This is just going to take out. This is just going to take. It, all it does is vertically mount the, the, uh, the video card just so it's on the outside of the window so it looks cool. <laughs> well, I, I tell you right now, I haven't even turned the lights on on that video card yet. That's how much I care. <laughs> Back in the, back in my teenager days, yeah, I got RGB lights, man, blah, 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 I really don't care anymore about little buttons and flashy lights. Well, I do because I do the Christmas show and I'm like a, I'm like a 10 year old all over again when I see the show, so, even though I made it, you know, still. So yeah, this was a video card holder. It's basically a big ass ribbon cable that looks like it could fall apart at any time anyway, so I'm not gonna be using that. Uh, just gonna put in my motherboard stuff. All the parts go in there. All right, should we put the motherboard in already? Damn it already, Jeff. But here's where I'm, I'm, I am going to run into problems. I, I never, I never can just slide something in somewhere and not have a problem. Like I'm already having a problem with a thermal paste that didn't come with any of this crap. You know? You, that, that kind of takes me off. Pay f almost $500 for a freaking CPU. Or $400 something dollars CPU and it doesn't come with thermal paste. I mean, that's got to be the cheapest thing in the world. Yeah, so I am going to run into problems. Because all my cables are coming up by where my hard drive, my uh, hard drives have to plug into. That's just a rerouting issue, but I got to take apart the whole back end of that. And that's about another 20, 20 or so minutes make sure my screws are lined up though looks like they are somewhat just barely that that, that thing being so spongy and stuff that is yeah, it's all lined up. I might be able to get by and just plug those in. Yeah, we'll be all right. This thing's got so much, so much stuff, man. This thing will tell me the temperature in this sector of board and stuff. It, it's, ah, it's freaking nuts. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to mount the screws, or put the screws in. I'm going to just spare you. All I'm going to be doing is putting the, putting the screws in, so. And my battery's finally dead, so. We'll be back. Okay, guys, I think I left y'all off with, uh, putting in the, uh, thing, uh, the motherboard, the screws, stuff like that. I decided to go ahead and just put in the wiring. That's kind of a boring stage two. Uh, but, uh, battery went dead. I was probably just going to get it like a little thing. But all these wires just plug into where they can plug in. So, so I got um, a couple other things to hook up. And then one of them is put back in the graphics card. So, here's our, here's our graphics card. I'm just going to stick her in here. I do have to take out a screw here on the edge. Uh. Alright. Alright. Stand by. I just got to take out one more of these vents. I took out the wrong one. Damn it. So, 
We'll just move this one down a bit. Oh, there we go. And just easily just put that in the screw. There we go. I shouldn't need that vertical mounting system. I had to use it in the other one because of the way this thing went in there. I couldn't hook up my hard drives. But this is, seems like it's not going to be the issue. So you just, all we're going to do is line it up on a slot. And with even pressure, push down to you here to clip, clip, clip. And just double check that you don't see any gold pins on the side. Yeah, uh-huh. Here, in like Flynn. Uh-oh, did I just steal that from a YouTuber? I think his name's EV Blocks. So water cooler's in nice and tight. I actually, uh, when uh, the battery went dead, guys, um, I actually found some thermal paste, put some thermal paste on that. So That makes me happy. I have my Windows 10 on this flash drive ready to install. <sighs> what else? Oh, graphics card has to have power. That it does Captain. This just plugs into the back of the graphics card. Like clickety clack. Now I am wondering. Instead of going to get Let's see what we got. And instead of going to get a power cord or going through all the mess that I have over there to get a power cord, I'm going to use this new one that I have just to plug this up and we'll see if something goes bang, pop, crack. It does. New egg is going to love it when I try to return it. Yeah, not my fault. I think I got everything hooked up properly. I mean, not my first rodeo. All right, hold on. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Plugging in the power cord. One or two things is going to happen good stuff or bad stuff. Stage one is complete. Flip the switch. Okay, I see lights. I like that. I see lights. Okay. Okay. Power button work. Alright. Look how pretty that is. Hopefully you guys can see that. Look at all the pretty lights on that motherboard. Isn't that lovely? Alexa, turn off my lights. Sweet. Okay. Aww, it's so pretty. It really is. It's going to add atmosphere. Alexa, turn on my lights. Okay. So, anywho. Uh, victory spray. Alright, well, let's press the power button now and see what happens if all the fans are spinning and why not. Uh, power button's over here. <laughs> Jesus, guys, Jesus. Oh, yeah. She's alive. And I'm making sure that water is going through that, and it is. I just saw a bubble race by. Oh yeah. She's shooting me some trouble code saying she don't have an operation system. Blah 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 blah. That's good. So well hell. There you have it guys. Let me see if I can get y'all like on a selfie stick here. Just get y'all the uh, close up here. Here we go. This is where Jeff the Maintenance Man videos are born. I change the light on that too. If you want to. That's off. 
white. Sweet. Yep. That's a beautiful machine right there. And here's the uh, front of the case. The double helix also lights up. Alexa, turn out my lights. Okay. So, there's your helix lighting up. Here's another night view of the beautiful Jeff the Maintenance Man gaming computer. Because I do play games. So, well, it's going to be about, I don't know, maybe a couple more hours to do the drivers and install windows and stuff like that. There's, I can't, I'm not going to film all that. But guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man, um, if you've seen this video, obviously, I got everything up and running. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Alright guys, it is up and it's up running. Let's see if I go any faster here. Let's see if I. We're gonna restart. This is a fresh, brand new install. I just installed Google Chrome. So let's restart. Let's see. Uh, Windows updates might, like, take over. I don't know. We'll see. Dang, when that turns off, my monitor needs to be wiped down, don't it? GMI no signal. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, hi webcam. All right, here we go. Restarting. Ah, it's up. Already. That's it. My login. Done. That is fast as crap. One more time. I'm going to do something else, though. I'm going to shut it all the way down. And let's do this from power off to, ready? Three, two, well, come on. Three, two, one, power button pressed. I think it boots up faster than the monitor does. Because, see, we're waiting for that blue light. Or, or we're waiting for a blue light. I probably won't even... I won't even see the post boot. Probably. I'll just go bing. Windows will be there. Huh, maybe. There it goes. Blue. I bet Windows is already like loaded almost. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it takes longer for the uh, monitor to boot up than it does the computer is faster than the monitor because <laughs> watch watch what's this let's see we'll leave it off for a second and turn it on and it'll probably take more time to boot up this monitor than it does the computer see it does that so all that was the the monitor actually rebooting. <laughs> so this thing boots up faster than the monitor. I am freaking shocked. This thing is fast as crap. Well, with eight cores. I mean, what do you expect? Hold on. Shut out for a second. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, there you go. MD Ryzen. My speed is at 4.17 gigahertz. Whoa. Golly, man, this thing is hauling. Goodness gracious. But, as you see, it's working. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Jeff the Maintenance Man.